What's up guys? Welcome to another One Punch Man, the strongest YouTube video. It's your boy Christian bringing another amazing content that you will enjoy and learn from. Especially this is a guide about the awakening system that we have in the game. For today's One Punch Man video, I am going to talk about the awakening system that has been here for a couple of weeks now. It is another way to get stronger in the game but you need to know how it works and how hard it becomes as it progresses especially with you upgrading multiple characters in one go i will be talking about the, the things that you need to know about the awakening system in this video now let's start this guide for you guys to know more about the game first of all awakening system is mostly the same as the limit break but awakening will have harder requirements and harder to upgrade especially that you are needing a lot of resources and you are upgrading them for purple star from one two three four five and the requirements needs you to upgrade a particular character to a certain star so unlike limit break limit break you can actually select which stats you can upgrade from hp attack or def def which means that you want to focus on attack if you have an attack based character and HP if you have a HP based character or tanks and if you want to upgrade them you still need to upgrade your de de defense if you want to upgrade them or ascend them to the next star so now let's answer the question where to get the purple character shards rather than the Rather than the regular character shards, you will need purple character shards which can be acquired through extreme training. So extreme training, of course, together with the regular character shards, but the difference now is that these purple character shards are 100% drop. Oh, I actually, I, I, have, I have already done it. But if you challenge the extreme training, you get a hundred percent drop rate for the purple shards than the regular shards which has about probably dropping of one to two shards only per day but for the purple character shards every three battles you are guaranteed guaranteed three purple character shards per day for which character you have put or you have chose to deploy Important note for free to be players and pay to win pay to win characters or pay to win people regular character shards are more important than the character souls or the purple shards meaning synthesizing your regular character shards for a character soul is not advisable so never fuse or synthesize your shards regular character shards for the souls because the purple shards are easier to obtain than regular shards so synthesizing synthesizing your shards to soul is extremely a big big no now which characters to build basically the characters that you want to build here are your AOE characters or of course the main characters you have in your lineup you need to do here is to focus on one particular character especially one in your hero team which I have Garu here and for your for my villain team I have here for Gogitsu if you don't have Gogitsu I can suggest CK or Borus but if you have C Gogitsu then go for Gogitsu for the hero team if you don't have garu i would consider going for terrible tornado if you have him and of course for tank top master or for zombie man if you have those also in this way you don't burn through all your resources which are hard to come by especially this hero villain requires you a lot of core powers here you only get two i mean you get only two per day i think was it two per day and of course your hero awakening chips or this this ones 
are really hard to get especially when you are doing multiple characters and also it's mm, it is hard to get because it is through the awakening trial which you can get this which i would suggest you not synthesizing also but this depends if you are actually needing a little more for you to upgrade or for you to activate to the next purple star so the recommendations here is to upgrade your characters two to three purple stars before you move on to another character so actually i am focusing on my gugit suit for three star for the villain side for the for the hero side i am actually going i mean for martial artists because as you know garu is not a hero for martial artists or the hero side i will be focusing on my garu then zombie man because as the new era comes in these characters are going to be still be useful and for ck i think i will be upgrading him soon but for now i am focusing on gugitsu 3 purple star next i'm going to talk about where to get this villain core power this hero awakening chips and of course the hero core power and the other one which is the villain awakening chips so for hero villain core power can be acquired through awakening trials so here we are awakening trials as you can see here awakening trial and this course are very valuable as they can only drop two pieces per day for awakening trial open so if you open this one guys you can only get two awakening i mean what is i mean two hero core power but this depends whether you get this one or you get this one so if you maybe if you purchase more you can get more but i wouldn't recommend it because it costs you 200 gems to purchase it and of course we know that gems are very very valuable and collecting this will be a massive wall if you only have a little bit this will be a massive wall if you only have small amount of this and if you don't do this daily then it will become a very very huge wall to overcome but if you're doing this every single day and you stay active and you do events they can be acquired faster there are more ways to acquire this actually in stores dojos peak arena maybe training centers i believe but they're not here just yet but as soon as those other gameplays or maybe arena what do you call it or maybe gameplays generally i'm just going to call them gameplays if there are more of those that will come in then you will acquire more of this villain core power and hero core power soon but as for now this is the only way to get them and just be patient and be active over time it will be easier to acquire these core powers and awakening chips now let's talk about the awakening chips which i have talked about earlier but not too deeply for the awakening chips as you can see here these are used to activate or to activate the purple star because as soon as you have maxed these stats out you can actually activate them so this can be acquired through specific elite instances as you can see here i have already done this but for example if i will challenge this one you can get hero awakening chips right here and you need a lot i mean a lot actually for the one star wait for the one star you only need 10 for the two star you own you need 30 and for the three star you need 100 and for the four star it will increase even more i think it you need 200 and for the five star i think you need 500 plus was it i am really not sure i forgot but what you need to do here is to stay active 
to challenge this elite instances every single day and get as many as awakening chief as you can and of course what i have told you earlier you can get more of this i mean more of this awakening chip soon if there are more gameplays to open and because there are only there is this one way is to buy them through gems but i wouldn't recommend this because of course of course of course you need your gems for the black ticket which which are the most important items to get in the game but this will depend guys on how many you get as me if you have unlocked a lot of instances elite instances so that means you need to level up more and do this every single day because this is just very important and just a note guys this doesn't really give you a lot per day but doing this every day will depend on how lucky you are sometimes you can get five of hero awakening chips sometimes you get two sometimes you get three but there is maybe there got it is guaranteed to give you a small amount but getting i mean a lot requires you to log in every single day every single of course every single day you need to log in because it's very important now synthesizing is not really recommended what i have talked about earlier is synthesizing is not recommended unless you are near it, near your upgrades and you are but for shards no for the strength this and other gears i would recommend you to use it only if you are really near because you need these ones for other characters also that's very important now let us talk about which characters that are in the game worth awakening including the srs that we have in the game first of all if you have if you are focusing on your villain team let us talk about first the villain team i would recommend if you get Yugitsu, of course upgrade him then go for ck go for borus you can go for genus one purple if you are using him especially right now that he is usable because of his passive and you can go for beast king because he is useful through the other gameplays like in the supply what is supply in the dailies you can use him here in the coin inst uh, coin instances he is useful during the Giro club boss as you can see here Giro club boss beast king is very very useful and who are the other ones yeah i think those are the main ones and just for a quick quick information in the future euro is a monster so you want to awaken him to two star i think and for rmg guys don't forget to awaken him or her i forgot rather rather awaken her to five star five star limit break and four star purple is good if you can six star him for you to upgrade him to five star purple i think was it the requirement i think that's a requirement if not i think you can go for five star limit break and five star purple but you need a lot of resources if you have a lot of resources then go for a five star limit break awakened rmg then she can just carry you until the ssr plus comes out which is very very important now for the for the martial arts or the team a hero team i would suggest go for garu if you have him if you don't have him go for zombie man because i know some this i have always recommended that zombie man is a must have character early on if you're a free to player meaning most of you people who are watching this have a zombie man so go for zombie man if you don't have zombie man go for terrible tornado if you don't have go if you don't have terrible tornado go for tank top master if you don't have these characters go for tank top i mean go for atomic samurai if you have him and go for amai of course amai is useful in the club boss even during the 
Boros, I think he can give you a lot of assistance if you don't have a lot of AoE characters. And for Golden Ball, of course, if you don't have a lot of AoE characters, you only have Terrible Tornado. If you don't have Terrible Tornado, you can go for Golden Ball. If you don't have Garu, you can go for Golden Ball. So these are this depends on whether if you have the character and if you don't. And wait, let me just give you a wait. Let me just upgrade my Garu to two star, which gives you fifteen thousand already. And we can open up this one, and we have unlocked the Awakening upgrade in the figurines, which is one thing that you need to put in mind to increase your BP figurines is very important and awakening gives a lot of a lot of BP actually. So the awakening for three star is you need this this character limit break has reach four star. So I have four star DQ sick has reach one star. So actually for five star RMG, I think you need a three star keepsake. So meaning you need to get the keepsake of of RMG, meaning you need 70 you need 70 of this you need 70 keepsake vouchers for you to get the rmg keepsake and you can upgrade her to five star purple and five star limit break which is very important guys to note and i think what you need to put in mind again is that the euro core is coming soon but it is actually not determined yet because of the wacky calendar that the moonton server has so actually this is only a awakening guide but i will give you some small details about what's to come okay so that's one thing euro rmg are a must-have if you have enough bt go for awaken terrible tornado she is a beast especially he has a field he goes well with Monsterize shows that we have right now and he as she is an AOE character so that's just a quick quick I mean a very quick futuristic advice on this video so guys if you are watching I I am actually doing this on every single video that I am doing like a quick run through in terms of the future events future characters that are coming in the game so i think i have discussed all on this video what is the awakening inspiration just a quick review guys just a quick review where do you get your purple shards basically you get your purple shards through extreme training you get three of this per day because it is a hundred percent drop rate not like the regular shards that you can only get one to two shards per day then of course an important note that i have done earlier no synthesizing of regular shards for gogitsu souls or purple shards then the characters to build will be based on which characters you have in villain and hero team for villain and hero team will depend on who you have and for the awakening chips or the hero core powers you get them through the awakening trials and of course you get the spy disc and in this ones the disc you can get them through awakening trial and for the awakening call it for the awakening chips you can get them through elite instances and that is basically how awakening works so that is an overall review or a conclusion as you can say then that is it that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel of course and join my youtube community discord the link is in the description below on this video and i'll see you on my next video